In this video, several ways to prepare wheat starch paste are presented. In the following examples, wheat starch paste will be prepared using different tools such as a cooking pot, an electric saucepan, a hot plate with a magnetic stirrer, a food processor, a microwave and the addition of hot water. In general, paste is a generic term referring to adhesive made from swollen starch in conservation, the term paste usually refers to an adhesive made from swollen and disintegrated wheat starch. Starch paste is a very versatile adhesive. For example, it can be used for mending tears, lining, or various backings. Its viscosity can be varied depending on the amount of water added to the mixture, modifying the paste based on the type of application. To prepare the paste, following supplies are needed. Wheat starch powder and a container for weighing. A beaker demineralized water, a spoon or a spatula and a stick for stirring the paste. In this video, we will be preparing a 10% starch suspension for each example. First, the starch powder is weighed. Then the water is weighed. Now the starch powder is added to the water and stirred. Depending on the recipe, the starch suspension is left to swell cold before cooking, for example on a magnetic stirrer. As versatile as its potential applications are the numerous ways to make wheat starch paste. The cooking part is placed on a stove or a hot plate. The starch suspension is added into the pot. The hot plate is turned on. While bringing the starch suspension to a boil, it is important to stir it well so that it does not burn on the bottom of the pot. The consistency will change due to gelatinization. The opaque milky starch suspension will turn into a glassy paste. The longer the paste is cooked, the more water evaporates and the firmer the mixture becomes. This way the consistency of the paste can be adapted to various types of application. First the stirring attachment is inserted. The starch suspension is added to the saucepan. The suspension is then stirred for 30 minutes at a temperature between 60 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius. The temperature range 5 of this sauce maker corresponds to 65 degrees Celsius. A thermometer can be used to check the temperature of the suspension. After 30 minutes, the temperature is set to a lower range and stirred for approximately 10 more minutes. Once the paste is ready, the stirring attachment is removed and the paste is transferred to a container. The starch suspension is placed on the magnetic stirrer. The magnetic stirrer and the hot plate are turned on. During the gelatinization process, the viscosity increases. It may be necessary to increase the speed to ensure good mixing. With this method, only smaller quantities of paste can be produced. First, the stirring attachment is placed in the mixing bowl. Then the food processor is turned on using the switch on its back. The prepared starch suspension is added to the mixing bowl. 
the mixing bowl is closed with the corresponding lid. The splash guard is placed on the lid. In this example, we let the paste cook five minutes for two times at 80 degrees Celsius. The temperature is set to level two. After the entry, the program will be started. Once the preset mixing time is reached, the program will stop automatically and emit a signal tone. If the paste is ready, the stirring attachment is taken out and the bowl is removed from the base unit. Using a spatula, the paste is transferred to a container. For preparation of starch paste in a microwave, a microwave safe container must be used. In this example, the microwave is set to 600 watts. It usually takes from 30 to 60 seconds for a 100 milliliter suspension to come to a boil. The suspension can also be stirred briefly every 10 to 20 seconds to ensure that the starch is evenly mixed. Once the suspension comes to a boil, it will rise within the container. If necessary, the paste can be mixed and then brought again to a boil. The microwave is turned off before the paste starts to overflow. This method is suitable when preparing smaller quantities of paste. Paste can also be prepared using boiling water from a kettle. In this case, the starch powder is added into a small amount of cold water and then filled up with the remaining amount of boiling water, stirring thoroughly. Regardless of the type of preparation, before being used, the paste needs to cool, for which it can be placed in a cold water bath or stirred. To reach a spreadable and lump-free consistency, the paste is pushed through a fine sieve at least once. Either a traditional horsehair sieve or a tea strainer can be used. Thin nylon stockings can also be used as an inexpensive alternative to horsehair sieves. The stocking is rolled up and placed over a beaker. The paste is filled into the stocking and pressed through it. To store the paste, a container is rinsed with alcohol or hot water. To prevent the paste from drying out, it can be covered with a small amount of demineralized water. If kept refrigerated, the paste will remain fresh for several days. The consistency and adhesive strength of starch paste differ depending on the concentration of the starch suspension, method of preparation and cooking time. The choice of the preparation technique is often based on personal experience and varies depending on the required application. Thick paste with high adhesive strength is more suitable for adhesions. Liquid paste has less adhesive strength and is therefore suitable for lining as it spreads smoothly over large surfaces. Scientific literature provides studies on preparation, adhesive strength and durability of wheat starch paste, which should be taken into account, in addition to one's own personal experience when choosing among the methods of preparation.